have engine start. Watching launch the HTV, active the HTV. And we have liftoff. A rising sun over the land of the rising sun as Jax's H2B rocket and the HTB-9 cargo craft take flight. Oh, this is apparently the final HTV. The H2B rocket uh, takes flight to the International Space Station. Off occurring right on the dot at 12:31 p.m. even Central Time, 2:31 a.m. Japan Time. 44 seconds into the flight. I'm going to have to assume that's a problem with the stream as opposed to a problem with my thing because. Just passing there one go, minute okay. into the flight, so the continuing to look good. Oof. Yeah, you know, someone just pressed the wrong button, I presume, and you used the Japanese feed. Yeah, this is the last HTV, and that also means this is the last H2B. Propelling uh, the HTV-9 towards its preliminary orbit, coming up on the 1 minute 30 second mark into the flight. Also, you might notice bits of um, sparks, like little sparks kind of behind the vehicle. That's unburnt fuel from the SRBs that's just being burnt up. I'm also just going to look up. This. Coming up on the two minute mark into the flight. Coming up on solid rocket booster shutdown and separation. Now apparently there is going to be a replacement for this thing. Which is meant to be for February 2022. And we have solid rocket booster. There we go, that's quite spectacular there. So, they, so this is the last flight of this original. Two and a half minutes into the flight. Uh, First stage engines are continuing uh, to fire, as they will until about the five minute, 46 second mark into the flight, at which point uh, those engines will shut down, the first stage will separate. It's finally going to launch in a H3, I presume, which is a even bigger than the H2B. Mm. I'm just still looking stuff up for this. Wait. Three minutes, ten seconds into the flight, everything proceeding normally. The first stage continues uh, to uh, burn uh, in excellent shape. All good reports coming in from the range control center at Tanagashima. I guess this is Kunotori 9. I probably mispronouncing that. So sorry about that. Coming up on the four minute mark into the flight. Hmm. About two minutes to go in uh, first stage performance. The so HQB rocket uh, is operating in normal fashion. Okay, so it's obviously carrying food and some stuff for the crew, but other than that, for JAXA, it is carrying the Solid Combustion Experiment Module, Integrated Standard Imager from Microsatellites, which is a commercial technology demonstration payload by the Spanish company Satellantis, uh, Equipment for the Space Media Business Collaboration, Space Frontier Studio Kibo, Four and a half and minutes into the flight, focal space which has been flawless so microscopy. far. Everything uh, proceeding well. Cosmic. Good first stage performance. Uh, the solid rocket boosters that separated just over two minutes into the flight did their job in uh, augmenting uh, the dual uh, first stage engines on the uh, H-2B rocket. This is the final flight of the H-2B. 
to be replaced uh, with the new H3 rocket. Okay, so I guess that correctly. will be employing for its new genre of uh, cargo so craft called the HTV-X HTV -X. that is scheduled to launch uh, about two years from now. Like I just said, huh? Five no. minutes, five seconds into the flight. For NASA, they're bringing up the Express Rock 11B, uh, a tank, tank for water storage system, or WSS, a high-pressure nitrogen tank for nitrogen oxygen reset, for nitrogen oxygen recharge system. And then for ESA, they're bringing up the European Draw Rack Mark II. And in the impression, like these are all the pressurized stuff. In the unpressurized compartment, there are six lithium ion batteries, which are orbital replacement units for replacing the ISS's existing nickel hydrogen batteries. And this is the last of these, these batteries, I guess, to be brought up uh, with the previous ones being brought up on Kunatori 6, 7. Five minutes and uh, eight. 56 seconds into the okay, flight. Okay, so fairing has been jettisoned at this point, and we're changing condo. Okay, that's three separation. Separation of the first and second stages. And now we have confirmation of uh, so separation very soon of we'll the, have the first and second stages. Of the stage. This is uh, animation driven by real-time telemetry from the range control center yep, at Tanegashima. You can see the size of that. The, uh, the second HTV. stage uh, it's quite is big. now uh, up and running. The single engine. I think on the, the only thing bigger, firing, the only bigger cargo vehicle the ISS, will, uh, was the so for European about, ATV. Uh, eight and a half minutes, almost nine minutes of performance. The second stage uh, ignition uh, occurred on time. The trajectory of the vehicle is reported to be perfect. Second stage well, engine good. cutoff will come at about the uh, fourteen and a half minute mark into the flight. So it's quite a quite a lengthy burn over the I presume the Marianas somewhere in that region. So of course what this thing is going to do is going to approach the International Space Station. Getting closer and then get grabbed by the Canada arm. Whoop. Coming up on the eight minute mark into the flight, which so far has been flawless. Uh, the second stage engine continues to burn uh, in a nominal fashion uh, to continue propelling the HTV 9 cargo craft towards its Ooh. preliminary orbit. As uh, the HTV 9 uh, lifted off from Tanegashima, there were uh, kanpai, as they say in Japanese, cheers in the uh, launch control center. That's also what they say when marking, they uh, clink the beers. Or the start of the final sake, flight of the H2B know. rocket and the final Sorry flight Japan. of this class of HTV cargo craft that made its debut in September of 2009. That's about 10 years. Well, more than 10 years. Passing the eight and a half minute mark into the flight, uh, as you can see from this uh, telemetry driven animation provided by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, the uh, trajectory is uh, on the money. For, uh, the second stage performance uh, continues to be good. I presume that the green line is the ground track. From the range mm. control center at Tanegashima. So what else it could be? Launch uh, engineers uh, continue to report nominal performance for the H2B rocket. Now uh, passing the nine and a half minute mark into the flight. Okay, the burn is going down right there, almost up to six kilometers per second. See, it is a rather slow, well, slow it's rather relatively slow acceleration. 
Again, uh, the, uh, probably the highlight way to uh, HTV. component of the cargo being carried to the International Space Station, the final half dozen uh, brand new lithium ion batteries and uh, associated adapter plates that will be installed on the far starboard truss of the International Space Station, the S6 truss. Batteries are of course EVAs to be able to operate uh, the ISS. <laughs> are being considered uh, for uh, potting into the crew's timeline uh, later on this summer. EVA preparations are being uh, conducted and uh, the uh, space station program uh, will make a final determination on uh, how those EVAs will be disposition dispositioned in the uh, weeks to come. Again, uh, the uh, battery replacement work began in January of 2017 on the uh, truss segments of the International Space Station to provide uh, the final the upgrades uh, for the station's power system for the remainder of its lifetime. You can see the um, nose is good. The vehicle is going more and more level. 11 minutes into the flight, we have about uh, four minutes and change of uh, second stage performance left for the uh, H2B rocket. Uh, the reason for that is, I presume, they're now high enough, they don't need to put as much, and they're moving fast enough, they don't need to put as much of the thrust in just keeping the vehicle the at a uh, high enough altitude. They can put the, more uh, HTB rocket, uh, of the power into putting it in orbit. The, uh, pre launch parameters. Good second stage performance. Good uh, vehicle control as we are uh, coming up uh, on the 12 minute mark into the flight. Okay, so it's currently at, I believe that's the altitude is 290 kilometers. The ice is at about 400, so I believe this is going in 100 kilometer lower orbit and then using complex maneuvers, it will climb to the altitude of the ISS. Because the ISS is currently ahead of, of it. Once again, uh, from the uh, animation that you're looking at, uh, provided by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, the vehicle traveling uh, some uh, 6,700 meters per second. Good reports continue to come in from the uh, range control center. I believe it's about Tanigashima. 861 will be the cutoff and then separation will be at 12 uh, minutes and 45 11. seconds ago. Seconds into flight. Oh, I believe there were some issues with the uh, telemetry animation there. Yeah, you can see the vehicle's gone almost completely horizontal. At this point, they're only focused on bringing up the periaps and completing the Telemetry uh, from the H2B rocket and uh, the HTB-9 cargo ship being processed through a series of uh, ground stations being employed by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency on uh, th the trajectory of its uh, flight. We're about uh, two minutes away from the completion of second stage performance. Okay, just about a 40 seconds until the engine shuts down. 14 minutes into the flight, everything uh, continuing to go well. Good uh, vehicle control being reported. Good engine performance on the second stage. Meanwhile, the International About Space Station seconds. has crossed uh, the west coast of Africa, moving from southwest we go. to northeast. Shut down. Okay, that was a bit early, but that's fine. That usually just means there's probably better performance. And uh, we engine. have a report of a second stage shutdown on time. Oh, four we'll seconds be, uh, early, standing but that's by fine. for spacecraft separation oh, moments from now. It means probably just got more power out of either the first or second stage. 
nothing to worry about. If the vehicle's in a bit lower orbit, that's perfectly fine. There was a bit of an issue with the Cygnus craft that launched on an Atlas a while ago. 15 minutes into the flight, standing the by for much spacecraft earlier. separation. Well, not much, like 5-10 seconds early, and the Centaur had to work really hard just to put the thing in orbit. Uh, okay. We're very close to separation, and of course that's when... Oh, no, there we go, there you go, separation of the, H, uh, the HTV. Or Kunotori, or however it's pronounced. <laughs> Sorry, Japan. And uh, this view now from the Range Control Center at Tanagashima. Applause as uh, we have confirmation of spacecraft separation. The HTV-9 now in its preliminary orbit. A flawless launch and a flawless climb to orbit for the final uh, HTV, HTV vehicle. Now well on its way to the International Space Station. Okay, guys, that was launch of HTV-9. On top of the final HTV on top of a H2B rocket from Tanagashima. I'm Boston 25. Uh, goodbye.